Alright, so we're going to go ahead and teach uh, midline stability how to create a, basically an upright or a torso that's rigid and locked when we're moving. Uh, the reason we want this is the spine, just like any other joint, is a bunch of segments. Think of it as tons of different joints throughout the whole, uh, basically, your torso. But we don't want that moving under load, otherwise we have, we're going to run into issues. So how we're going to show this is what you need to do to create that stability is first, you're going to squeeze your gut or your butt, create a good pelvic position, so go ahead and do that. And then what you're going to do is draw on the abs nice and tight so you have a flat, nice back position. You're going to hold that position when we're doing any movement. So a good way to practice that, we'll have you crystal get down on the ground here. And what this is going to look like is what they call the hollow body position in gymnastics. So this is just going to be a tool we use to kind of create that stability and learn how to actually control it. So go ahead and lay your legs flat for me. So the same thing is going to happen. She's going to turn her butt on, get that pelvis in a neutral position, and then draw her stomach in nice and tight so it's flat on the ground. And then go ahead and raise your legs and upper body. And so you're going to keep this with your back nice and flat on the ground. You can go ahead and relax and just practice that more and more times. So go ahead and turn it on again. Start with the butt. Tighten your gut up, and then go ahead and go back into that whole body position. And you'll have that nice flat back. So that will go ahead and relax. That will teach us, start to teach you how to actually turn everything on <clears throat> and get into that position. You're going to do this whenever you're doing anything, whether it's picking something up off the ground, you're going to get nice and tight, rigid, and move like that. And we'll just go ahead and show you what it looks like when we address uh, fall. Creating that stability within the, the midline. We're going to go ahead and do that same thing, but now addressing the bar so you can see what that looks like. So Krista is going to get up underneath the bar here, and what she's going to do, same thing, same order, private wise. Uh, you're going to turn your butt on, draw that stomach in nice and tight so she has a nice, flat, rigid back, and then she's going to go ahead and just stand up with that weight and take her step back. And we'll go ahead and perform her squats just like normal, keeping that spine nice and tight. If you lose that position, I'd recommend just re-racking the weight and starting over again. So, And that's going to be hold true for anything we're doing if we want the, uh, the trunk stabilized, whether it's picking something up such as a deadlift or a chair, anything off the ground, we're going to turn the butt on, gut, and then you'll be able to pick up what you're going to do. And that is the basics on how to stabilize the spine.